Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thank you for joining me for this first episode of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, and it is an honor to welcome you. So why Build Your Reiki Business podcast? Well, for those who are new to the Standing Stones Healing community, Back in 2021, I created the Reiki Business Collective Facebook group. At that time, I recognized there that there was not a space, at least not on Facebook, where Reiki business owners, specifically Reiki business owners, could come together to talk specifically about Reiki business topics and including those considering starting a Reiki business. And so I started that Facebook group in 2021 in order to hold space for Reiki business owners so that we could come together to um, share resources, to support one another, and to serve the world with Reiki. And it has been an honor to create that space and to host and maintain that space. It's also been an honor to include monthly gatherings. We started having monthly gatherings in 2022 as well. So we meet on Zoom once a, once a month to chat about Reiki business topics, network, and connect. I also started the Reiki Business Collective interview series on uh, YouTube, the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel, to chat with other Reiki business owners about all kinds of Reiki business topics. And that as well has been a wonderful way to support Reiki business owners and those considering it. I will say, though, that the Reiki Business Collective interview series has not been as consistent as I would like it to be. When I first started the uh, uh, discussion series back in the beginning of 2022, my vision for it was to be a little bit more consistent with it than, uh, than it has been. But I have to say that I, as a Reiki business owner, am a busy person, and other Reiki business owners are busy. You know, Reiki business owners are busy people. <laughs> and so what that means is that that uh, interview series has not been as consistent as I would like it to be, and I truly believe not as consistent as Reiki business owners deserve and those considering Reiki business ownership. And so I wanted to start the Build Your Reiki Business podcast as a way to more consistently offer Reiki business support to Reiki business owners and those considering starting a Reiki business. You know, when I only have to worry about my own schedule, as busy as it is, uh, I am still uh, able to create something more consistent than uh, worrying about uh, finding time to connect with other Reiki business owners and finding times that align in our own schedules, which might be months away. <laughs> And so I'm honored to be able to show up in a more consistent way with a solo Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Now, the Reiki Business Collective interview series is not going away. I love this series. I love uh, hosting it and offering uh, all of its great messages to Reiki business owners and those considering it. So the Reiki Business Collective interview series on the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel is not going away. The Build Your Reiki Business podcast is not replacing the Reiki Business Business Collective interview series. So I invite you to check that out and to know that indeed more discussions are on the way. 
and to know indeed that the Build Your Reiki Business podcast is going to be a weekly, consistently weekly podcast on all kinds of Reiki business topics. You know, I don't know about you, but when I started my Reiki business, I had lots and lots of questions and there was a lot I did not know. And there was a lot that I needed to learn. And so in the intervening years, I've learned a lot and uh, there's still a lot I don't know and still a lot that I am learning because our Reiki business journey is just like our Reiki journey, which is always unfolding always evolving and always there is so much to learn and always we are growing through and with the Reiki business just as we are through and with Reiki. And so I'm honored and excited to be able to offer this podcast to support anyone's Reiki business journey, whether you are a Reiki business owner who has had a Reiki business for many years, or if you are just starting out on your Reiki business journey, or if you are just considering starting a Reiki business and saying, what is it all about? What do I need to know? What do I not know that I need to know? <laughs> And so I want to say thank you for tuning in. This podcast will be a combination of encouragement and practical tips and information. This podcast will cover all kinds of Reiki business ownership topics, whether that is what to name your Reiki business, what insurance considerations there are. Uh, how to set up websites, Um, anything that you might think of in terms of Reiki business is going to be covered in this podcast. And I want to encourage you to please feel free to reach out at any time as well with your Reiki business questions or topics that you would like to see addressed on the podcast. The vision for the podcast is that in addition to being weekly, these are going to be shorter episodes. I have a Q&A series as well, Ask Your Stones, on the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel. And at one point, that series was indeed a weekly series. I want to say that was a weekly series for a year or so, I think even longer than a year. Um, But That series also answered individual questions, and um, those questions, those answers, sometimes were an hour long, 45 minutes, 60 minutes long. And I really enjoyed doing that series and found that it was just easier for me to just dash off a quick message to someone who asked me a question rather than to sit down and record uh, a 45 minute or 60 minute response. Um, And so it was very beneficial to the person who asked the question and also very beneficial to anyone who listened in. And you can indeed still listen to those episodes on the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel. And but But my vision is for this podcast to be a little bit shorter than the Ask the Stones series and uh, to be more consistent as well since I have largely stopped doing that series. And frankly, I miss it. It was really nice to be able to encourage people on their journey with that weekly series. And uh, I would also like to be able to offer a weekly series specifically for Reiki business owners. You know, last year uh, in uh, 2022, as I was laying out, planning out 2023's offerings, 
And let me step back a moment here and talk a little bit about my own Reiki business because my own Reiki business model right now is a hybrid business in which I am offering both in-person and online offerings. And so in person, I am uh, seeing clients uh, for Reiki sessions and card readings. Uh, these are largely, um, when they are individual sessions, they are largely mobile sessions. Um, but I'm also doing expos, fairs, holistic fairs, and those kind of events as well, which I really love and enjoy. They're a lot of fun for me. And uh, my online component looks like individual sessions with Reiki, card reading, coaching, um, courses, and just all kinds of things in the online space as well. But when I was planning out 2023 and uh, my offerings for 2023, I said to my guides, the universe Reiki, as I was planning I said, so what next? You know, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun with my Reiki business. I'm serving a lot of people. I'm helping people and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And as I'm planning and envisioning what comes next for 2023, guides, give me some feedback in my dream tonight. This was in uh, November. I said, guides, give me some information in my dream about what you would like me to see, to see me do next in my Reiki business. And I asked for a dream about it that night. And so in the course of the night, I indeed had a dream. And I had a dream that I was teaching a Reiki business course. And I'll actually tell you, it was very specific. So the snippet of the, the dream, the dream, the whole dream was it, was, it was indeed a snippet in which I was teaching a Reiki business course and I was uh, explaining to people that they could set up a Reiki business group, or I'm sorry, a Reiki uh, Facebook group or any kind of Facebook group. I was explaining you could set up a Facebook group and then email the group members once a week with the highlights of the group, things that were discussed, information about the group, questions that came up or whatever. And this dream was uh, taking place during my uh Reiki business course. Now, I did not have a Reiki business course at that time. <laughs> and I woke up and uh, in the middle, right then and there, I woke up and was like, wow, uh, there's the guidance. I rolled over and my clock on my nightstand said three, three, three. And I said, okay. I get it. This is what you are leading me to do next. Now, I'll be honest with you. This was not on the agenda for 2023. You know, maybe in the future, um, I might have started a uh, Reiki business program. Absolutely. That was a thought for the future. You know, I'd started the Reiki Business Collective, was doing the Reiki Business Collective interviews and really enjoying it. Um, but it was not on the planning for 2023. And when I had that dream, I heard it loud and clear. And I said, thank you for the guidance. And, you know, as if to say, listen, I, I hear the guidance. I'm going to follow the guidance when I get it. You got it. I am going to act on it. You can trust me with the guidance, dear guides. Um, right away, I set about planning. Uh, for that Reiki business program and recruiting uh, students into the pilot of the program. And so that pilot is indeed currently running. It is called Build Your Reiki Business because the emphasis is on building. It does take time and effort and attention to build a Reiki business. And the emphasis truly is on the building process 
of it. And so the Build Your Reiki Business podcast really takes inspiration from the Build Your Reiki Business program all about the fact that it does take time to indeed build a Reiki business. And so thank you, guides. <laughs> thank you, universe. Thank you, Reiki, because it is because of that dream that we have now the Build Your Reiki Business program. And we have right now the Build Your Reiki Business podcast that you are listening to. And so I want to say thank you for tuning in. Now, you can tune in to those Reiki Business Collective interviews uh, on the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel. They are available for everyone to listen to and, of course, will be available uh, for years and years to come to encourage Reiki business owners and those considering it along with this podcast and the Build Your Reiki Business program, which you can learn more about at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Again, I want to emphasize that right now that program is in its pilot phase. <laughs> which means that um, it is not available for enrollment right now, but indeed it will be in the future as I receive feedback from the current students and as uh, I make modifications to make it uh, as, as great of a program uh, as we can in its early stages. So I want to say thank you and I want to say thank you for tuning in because this podcast indeed will be available to encourage and support you as well no matter where you are on your Reiki business journey. So please know that you can always reach out to me. I'm at Christian at standingstoneshealing.com with your thoughts, your feedback, your questions, your topics for this podcast. I also want to invite you to join the Reiki Business Collective Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki Biz, B-I-Z, and indeed we do have monthly meetings in that group which are indeed free that you can join on Zoom to connect with me and other Reiki business owners if you are indeed a member of the Reiki Business Collective Facebook group. I also want to invite you to get the free Reiki Biz Kit that is full of Reiki business information. We'll be talking about a lot of those topics contained in the biz kit on the Build Your Reiki Business podcast, but it is available to you right now to get for free at standingstoneshealing.com slash Reiki biz kit. Those notes are all below. So I want to say thank you so very much. Please like, share, subscribe, send to a friend. You know all of those things. And I will be putting out these episodes every week that you can listen to and enjoy and send to others for Reiki business encouragement. So thank you so much. I'm sending you blessings and best wishes for your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.